In this video, we will go over seven ways for you to fall asleep faster. You're probably struggling with falling asleep fast, and by watching this video, you will get some concrete ideas for what to do in order to fix that, so stay tuned. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm one of the main authors of Polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. So let me start off by saying that there are ways to shorten the time that it takes for you to fall asleep and these are particularly useful to utilize in the beginning of polyphasic adaptations uh, since it's normal for the homeostatic pressure to not be alleviated as at a large level from naps containing only NREM1 uh, compared to naps containing already NREM2 but also REM sleep. Uh, it should be pointed out that you might be becoming dependent on these to fall asleep in the future if you start using them in the beginning of your adaptation but it's a risk you're going to have to be willing to take or you need to compare the, the pros and cons here. The, the pro is of course that you'll be falling asleep faster and the con that you're going to need to always be able to do this method in order to fall asleep fast. It's also possible that some of these don't work specifically for you, but don't lose faith if you manage to not get any help from one of them. Instead, try to focus on the next one and try to find one that fits you particularly. The first suggestion I have for you to do is to lower your body temperature to be able to fall asleep faster. You can do this by taking a hot shower around an hour before you're supposed to go to take a nap. Although, especially for this point, I want to point out that the effects of exposing yourself to heat or to coldness is very, very individual, okay? I, for example, will get really alert from a hot shower and really sleep from a cold one. Here you have to assess what works for you and what doesn't. But I hope that you'll be able to utilize one of these options, either cold or hot showers, in order to fall asleep faster. Another way you can fall asleep faster is by creating a sleep-inducing environment like the dark. Basically, you want to trigger you want some triggers that condition your brain into thinking that it's supposed to be falling asleep fast. For example, by turning the lights off five minutes before you're getting sleepy, before you're supposed to be asleep. Um, we suggest against using your bed during your adaptation, by the way, because that has been conditioned for you to act as an eight-hour sleeping place. So instead you can set up a mattress on the floor, just sleep on a rug on the floor, or uh, move and set up an extra bed somewhere in your room that, does, that isn't associated with your original bed. So you want to sleep in your new place and a few minutes before you're supposed to go to sleep, you want to hit up them triggers for your brain, you know, um, turn off the lights and be in darkness, that tells your brain that it's supposed to fall asleep, or um, put some music in your ears that you do every day that conditions your brain to know that, oh, it's supposed to be asleep, you know, something like this. Um, and I want to point out that it's pretty iffy uh, if you're usually on the sleep to be able to, to use this this conditioning trigger for your brain, like turning off the lights, but you could just as well do it with, with this, this sleep mask instead. Place a sleep mask over your brain, over your head to, to signal to your brain that it's supposed to be asleep. You're not going to be able to use the triggers of having a specific sleep place in this case, but using it sometimes it's still better than not ever using it, so still consider doing that. The next tip I have for you is to do some breathing techniques to, to relax and to fall asleep easier. Uh, focus on your breathing and, and take deep breaths and, and long exhales at regular intervals. Now for this tip like the first one, you need, to, you need to assess it very individual because it affects everyone differently. Some people have a harder time to fall asleep while doing this and some people have an easier time. That's the thing when you attempt these methods. You need to find out what works for you and what doesn't and just make use of what works for you, okay? Try it for yourself and see if it works. For the next tip, I want you to keep away from your thoughts. Um, you can try reading something mildly entertaining before sleeping so, you do so your mind doesn't wander off. Um, for this one, I find that reading out loud really helps me to fall asleep faster. You know, uh, you lay in bed, you or in this case not in the bed, on, on the floor, you, you mumble a bit what you read, and it's really going to put your brain in a more tired place. Um, 
if if the results are not what you expecting you can instead try to put a podcast in your ear so that it distracts your brain from from thinking too much from wandering off too much um, you know something that doesn't take up mental power but keeps your mind silent that's the goal with this one now another cool tip that you can do that that's really cool to do okay you lay down and you visualize a pendulum swinging and that's all it's going to take the energy from your brain and focus it on visualizing the pendulum and because it's such a repetitive task it doesn't take much power to visualize it and you're going to be able to sleep very fast if you do this it might take a few times to practice but but i almost guarantee that it's going to help most people try it out okay so the next point is to occupy the brain with some auditory stimuli um, like by listening to lulling music or brown noise or white noise pink noise or ASMR. We actually have a playlist on the different colored noises on the channel that you can use in order to fall asleep faster. The link to it will be in the description. And you need to test these tracks and find out what works best for you. With this tip in mind I suggest you don't use too loud music so you damage your ears and be careful with using wired headphones. There's a risk of strangulation here and to Avoid this, I want you to sleep with Bluetooth headphones or with AirPods instead. You know, something that doesn't have a cord that can go through, uh, around your neck. We don't want to risk any asphyxiations here, okay? And for the last tip, try to stay away from situations that increase your alertness. Uh, like looking at electronic screens or playing high alerting video games and just running around and stressing. You want to avoid all these things. Take around 15 minutes before it's time to fall asleep and just calm down. Get into the mood of sleep and you'll have a much better chance to actually fall asleep. Great! I hope you like this list of 7 things you can do in order to fall asleep faster. Please leave a comment saying whether you have any more tips for that people can use to fall asleep faster or if you have tried these out and please share which ones work better for you and which ones work worse for you okay okay in the next video i will be seeing you have a good day and remember to have pleasant naps people